Why is 1.5 degrees a big deal? You might not feel any difference. But if our planet gets warmer by 1.5 degrees Celsius, our children would definitely feel its consequences. Can we prevent it? Scientists say we have a fighting chance if we all act now. Especially if the two major carbon emitters, America and China, can take on their responsibilities and work together in good faith. I'm Jolie in Beijing. And Mao Lin in Washington. This, this is Xinhua Commentary. Commentary. If global warming continues unabated, there will be more heat waves and snowstorms, more floods and droughts, more wildfires and pandemics. Meanwhile, communities and even entire countries will be destroyed, countless species will go extinct, and we as a human race will have fewer and fewer inhabitable lands. With Katrina, with campfire, with COVID-19, We've already had a glimpse of what's coming. More will come with a vengeance if we do not act now. Here in China, the entire country has been mobilized. Renewable energy? China is the world's largest generator of wind power, and it has about one third of the world's total solar capacity. New energy vehicles? China sold more electric cars nationwide than all other countries combined in 2019. In its latest development plans, China reaffirmed its green commitment and set bold goals for cutting emissions and increasing renewable energy and forest stock. It has also made clear its readiness to work with all other countries, including the United States, to save our Mother Earth. Here in America, it seems that the wind has finally started blowing in the right direction. The United States is the world's largest cumulative emitter of greenhouse gases, but past U.S. governments, not least the Trump administration, hardly lived up to America's responsibility. Now, the Biden administration appears to be serious. He has returned to the Paris Agreement, and his $2 trillion infrastructure plan would make a dent if it could be passed by Congress. Indeed, the world is glad to see renewed U.S. commitment, and it has been but it's also worried because no one knows whether the commitment will outlast the next election. Although their relations have seen better days, both China and America have signaled their willingness to cooperate on climate change. That's encouraging. However, cooperation should be based on the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. Climate change is caused by cumulative emissions, so today's developed countries should not shirk their historical responsibilities. Cooperation should also be conducted in good faith. China is a ready and sincere partner, but it will resolutely defend the legitimate rights of itself and other developing countries. And it will push back against any attempt to use climate as an excuse to bully or contain it. If Biden wants to be remembered as the climate president of the United States, he has to walk his talk. The world is watching. China and many other countries have thrown themselves into the battle. Now it's time for all others to join. Fight now, or our children wouldn't have a future to fight for. This has been a Xinhua Commentary. commentary.